Hello, my name is Gino Romeo from Yavapai College in Northern Arizona. My Learn Lab 2020 project is titled Chem 130 Beta. Chem 130 is a fundamentals chemistry course we teach at Yavapai College. And perhaps the name of my project is a misnomer for what I actually produced for the project. So I had two goals. Short term, I wanted to produce something during Learn Lab that I could use in the fall semester for my fundamentals chemistry course. Sometimes fundamental chemistry courses are called GOB. GOB stands for General Organic and Biochemistry. What I produced in OLI is a set of practice problems for students to reinforce their knowledge on the blood buffer. This is something we talk about after we've completed the chapter on acids and bases. There are three items in this module. The first item is a couple of videos that I produce for students to learn about the blood buffer. The second item is the actual content and exercises I produced in OLI. The third item is a worksheet the students would complete after they've gone through the exercises and practice in OLI. This presentation is going to focus on what I produced in OLI, the blood buffer online activities. The long-term goal is to develop a GOB course using an existing OER GOB text that has been imported into ECHO. Considering a face-to-face -face class, the order of operations would be to complete the module on acids and bases. Then the students would encounter this module. They would view the videos on the blood buffer and complete the activities I created in OLI. Then print the blood buffer worksheet and complete it in class. There is where I hope to spend little time explaining and lecturing on the blood buffer and the blood buffer worksheet since they had the opportunity to reinforce all the concepts they needed through the OLI activities. Next I'll show you the activities I produced using OLI. Then I'll show you how I produce those activities using Taurus. There are six sets of activities. The first two I classified as learn by doing, and the last four, did I get this? All six of these can be considered scaffolding exercises in preparation to complete the blood buffer worksheet. But these first two, trends in pH and trends in pH of buffer solutions, are actually scaffolding for the subsequent four. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through each one, but I'll just click on the exercises just to give you a sense of how they come across to the student. I've included three hints for each of the exercises and feedback for every incorrect answer choice. These four exercises, respiratory acidosis, alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, alkalosis, reflect what the students need to think about when they complete their blood buffer worksheet. Next, let's take a behind-the-scenes look in Taurus. I found using Taurus very intuitive and sort of easy. I had fun. Here's a place where you could create the objectives, and you could create sub-objectives or skill-level objectives for any one of the objectives that you have, simply by clicking on an objective and clicking on the plus sign. The curriculum is actually the content. This is where the questions are created and the content is included. Down at the bottom here is where you could add pages or assessments. Within a page, you could add assessments. 
So these are pages, and I'll just click on this one here and go to Edit Page. We can take a look at how things work. So there are four assessments in, in this page, and I, I chose Learn by Doing for all these. Of course, you can see you have the other options, and here's where you could choose the objective. The review checks for any broken links or any other problems there might be in the course and notifies you of what they are. So to bring this content or this project into Canvas, click on Publish.